It's Liam Mouse Vlog, Liam Mouse Vlog, it's Liam Mouse's Vlog. Play with your own jam. Aw, oh, mine kept landing. It's too early, so we're just playing with our jam. I had an English muffin because my stomach's upset because I didn't get much sleep last night. So it's, I think now, maybe like 10 o'clock. 10, 10. 10, 10 to 20. So Derek and I just made a keen observation as we were leaving the restaurant, full of old people, by the way, that um, how funny it is because uh, old people drive, you know, certain cars. And I said, well, you know, there's a reason they call them Oldsmobiles. And he started laughing and said that that never occurred to him before. And I'm just like, how could that not have occurred to you? I mean, it's an Oldsmobile, <laughs> right? And then the car that we were sitting next to that he was specifically talking about was a Lincoln. And I was just like, yeah, there's another example. It's like they're driving the car, you know, and they're as old as, uh, well, Lincoln was president when they were alive. And so I just said, I really hope someone that's 185 isn't driving be like, yeah, my grandma drove to the store yesterday. She's 185. She ran over 17 pedestrians and hit a mailbox, but everything's okay because she had her oops, I crapped my pants on. <laughs> I think what made that funnier is that you actually said, uh, my 185-year-old grandma drove to the supermarket. <laughs> the fact that you called it the supermarket was funnier. <laughs> well, that's what old people call it. What do they call it? The, the Winn-Dixie? Oh, no, no, the Winn-Dixie. Yeah, see, you don't even know what that yeah, is. Yeah, like, what the hell is a Winn-Dixie? So, we're here pillaging tools from Derek's mom's house so that we can bust into my storage unit because I lost the key for that thing eons ago and we have to break the lock somehow. So, we don't have bolt cutters, so we're just going to try to see what we can pull off in a widely optimistic perspective. We're assuming we can actually get the lock off. We rented the U-Haul so that we can unload the storage unit. Take stuff over to my house on the piano again. Yay. Okay, so according to Derek, just for documented purposes, I'm going to ask you one more time. Do you really think that that grinder is going to get the lock off? Yes, if it doesn't break and stab me. Because the disc is fucked up on it. So. Okay. I'm really hoping that really doesn't. Well, yes. You know, death aside, he said, fuck yeah, it will. So. Yeah, it'll cut that shit right off. It'll cut that shit right off. Quote, end quote. If not, I got my friends. Thor and Thor Jr.? What? No, Sludge and Hammer. <laughs> Wait, Sludge and Hammer. <laughs> it sounded like you said Sludge and Hammer. I did say, oh, Sludge and Hammer. It's a Sludge Hammer, not a Sludge Hammer. Whatever. <laughs> you dumbass. What you gonna do with all that junk? All that junk inside that trunk? Break the lock off. That's not how the song goes. Well, here we are, and uh, there's no plug-ins for the grinder. So, he's just gonna try to bang the hell out of it and uh, hope that works. I used to find these in my mom's driveway all the time. Little piece of limestone. I called them star stones because there's little stars in the end of them. Like it's a perfect star. I don't know why or weird, but yeah, I used to call them star stones. I used to find them everywhere. It's so weird. You making any progress? Probably not. Oh god, my phone's ringing. Hello. You, yes. He's trying to get the lock off right now. So we're here at Lowe's where we have to purchase bolt cutters because that is our only option at this point. Now, I'm going to reiterate. Are bolt cutters going to get this thing off? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Once again, your answer, original answer was, fuck yeah, they will. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, they will. <laughs> we don't have any of these <laughs> yeah, practice. There you go. <laughs> and we're back. 
<laughs> With bolt cutters. <laughs> He's way too excited about this. Dude, I told you. I told you it might be an issue fitting. Well, you're gonna have to make it work. Because <laughs> this is our only option. God, it's cold. Why does it have to be cold? Ow! Ow! Reinforcements have arrived. Dude, hold on. I, be careful. What'd you get this lock? <laughs> I've had this thing for 10 years, Here. so I lost the key. like pit dump truck it has like his logo on the side and oh you mean this door or the door door no, the door door it's because it's from my dad's truck oh, okay. so oh well, that was fun something eerily familiar about this me driving a car Derek in a moving truck except he's behind me this time and it's a u-haul not a budget but still really don't want to have to do this anymore for the rest of my life I'm tired of me in the car Derek in the moving truck it's creepy! And it is so cold! It was like fine this morning. It was like all sunny and it was like warm. I was surprised at how warm it was. And now it's like 15 degree drop in the temperature with like this wind straight out of the gates of hell. I don't know what the hell happened here. But we gotta try to move all this crap with just me, him, and his brother in this cold, frigid, stupid, windy crap. And it's all this heavy shit. So we'll see if we can do this. Coming to you live from inside my storage unit, standing on top of a piano, I bring you my stuff. Da 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 Top of the piano dance. Da 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 Okay. Piano, roll top desk that my grandpa actually built, gun cabinet that my dad built, Refrigerator, CD racks, and a few boxes. That's all we've got to deal with, or that's all we've got to deal with right now. We got everything else, which was just, you know, a few things. There's a whole lot of little spider carcasses in here, which is kind of grossing me out, but as Derek says, fapping a vagina and get over it. So I'm doing my best. Where's Dennis? I don't want to run him over. He's behind you, he's fine. He's not retarded. <laughs> <laughs> oh sweet, I should probably back up more. Just be very, very, very careful. Yeah, I told you it was heavy. My dad brought it down to our house in a bulldozer. <laughs> Just lift it up, pop it up on the ramp. Oh yeah, that was easy. <laughs> <laughs> Do 
do you need? Rotate, rotate, rotate. Pivot! pivot! <laughs> thank you, thank you. Okay. I can't pivot anymore. <laughs> it's not gonna work. Okay, there, now I can keep pivoting. Push, well, put, pull it up and pivot at the same time. <laughs> there we go, okay. Oh, oh shit! I'm losing my grip! Oh, I got it! Okay. Bush, come on, Cartwright! Pick oh. up! Okay. Back. You're gonna just pick it up. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Oh. Are you okay? Yeah, I got a cramp in my calf. <laughs> okay, it's not that bad. Oh no. <laughs> Stuck. Gross. <laughs> I figured I was gonna hear like a couple notes and then bam, 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 bam. No, she's actually really, really good. Well, thank you. Well, dude, she's been she's been trained on classical training piano since she was like four, four years old. everything out. Yeah. Hi. Hey. <laughs> what do you have a one with a longer end? That's what she said. Guess where we are. I don't know. Where are we? Somewhere where they have really cool hats. <laughs> yeah. I like my hat. Mm. Mm. I'm special. Yes, I'm you are. I'm special. I was looking at one. So I know you guys can't see anything, but it, it started freezing rain, so we had to abandon the whole Dennis coming to help us thing. And right now we're headed home to unload the truck. And it is snowing. And we are driving the truck. The wind is blowing at 900 miles an hour. And it's snowing. And uh, as I keep quoting Ron White, it's not that the wind is blowing, it's what the wind is blowing. <laughs> and there's all these people up Derek's ass. Anyway, so we're hoping we make it back safely in one piece. He's going 40 miles an hour, which is about all he can do. And these people are just flying past him like crazy people. So we passed by two semis and countless cars. They're so stupid. And once again, we're unloading stuff. Except now it's in the snow. Uh -huh. Hey guys, you excited? Snow is pretty though. Snow. Well, we got the piano and the, <coughs> the desk <coughs> and a lot of dust in our lungs. <sighs> I didn't record it because frankly we were afraid for our lives and I didn't want our deaths to be immortalized on film should they occur. The boy we have left is the fridge. So, Godspeed. It's so funny that the desk and the piano are about the same size. That kind of cracks me up, actually, but, you know. So now we're playing Beat the Clock to get over to Derek's house so we can watch Downton Abbey in 10 minutes, yeah, the season I'm, five premiere. And I'm driving like crazily in a U-Haul, doing like 60 miles an hour to town. Not, yeah, not really. I'm doing 25. But we unloaded everything. We got everything done as quickly as we could. We actually had to go through a lot of crap to get the um, fridge. We had to go through a lot of crap to get the fridge in there. We had to like take the door off the hinges and then we had to take the screen door, um, what do you call that thing? The screen door. Hydraulic um, thing. Hydraulic arm. Off. Yeah, hydraulic arm. And then we had to um, take the handles of the refrigerator off of the refrigerator and finally we could get it fitted through and then we had to put it all back together and stuff and everything so now we are 
hurriedly trying to make it to his house. So anyway, we're trying to rush back to his house to catch the season five premiere of Downton Abbey. It starts in nine minutes. So, um, and we gotta get food too. So, um, oh, okay, this clock is a little bit fast. It's actually um, 12 minutes. So. Okay, so we're good? Yeah, we'll be all right. <laughs> all right. Good thing you live only three minutes away from me. Yeah, I know. Downton Abbey! So we can get some sandwiches. Yay, sandwiches. <laughs> yes. If I can run over this pedestrian. Let's not run over a pedestrian in a U-Haul. Might be a little conspicuous. He's fat, nobody likes him. He's <laughs> old too. You're mean. He's a fat old guy, nobody's gonna care. You're an asshole. A lot of people would My care. My hole is ass. My ass is whole. You're done. You're done. You're done. The Emmy and Golden Globe award-winning Downton Abbey returns. What would you say to my scandalous suggestion? I have a secret. A bad secret. Tell her everything. Uh, find out something. <laughs> How long have you known? Move my purse. Move my purse. It's just a little thing they're talking about. That was Boobies. a nice, thank you. That was a nice season premiere. I enjoyed it. We are like several months behind the UK with it, but that's not our fault because America sucks. And I smell like a sweaty fat kid who just ate 10 pounds of cake. Did you like the episode? Yes, I did. Close your nipples. Oh my god. <laughs> Stop it, you freak! You don't like my post two nipples? No, no, They're I identical don't. Identical too, see. I could write with them. We could like hula hoop with these things. You're a freak. Huh?